In this video, I'm going to review the Adaptalux Studio, the adaptable macro photography lighting solution. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to do my review of the Adaptalux Studio. Now, I know we've used it a couple of times, I've done an unboxing and a couple of shoots with it. In this video, I want to give you my honest opinions on this lighting solution for your macro photography. When it came, it was very well presented and you have some examples and stuff. And what I want to get onto is the, uh, the pod itself. The pod, it's made out of a uh, high quality plastic. And what I found is it's very well capable of what it's designed to do. And it's designed for macro photography, product photography, floral photography, which we haven't tried yet. Might be something we'll try. But overall, I am impressed with the design of this. It's nice and compact as well. So I have the Control Pod 2.0, which is a reinforced shell on this Control Pod. And they have some uh, interesting technology in here where you've got a high output on the LED, but at the same time, it also saves battery, which is great. I've only charged this thing twice since I've had it. The Daplux Studio boasts a 10 hour battery life with a two to three hour charge time via USB. So my combo pack came with four lighting arms, which we have used in a previous video. So each arm has an LED at the front, so it's not a fiber optic arm like some people have thought it is. It's actually an LED at the end. When it comes to the lighting arms, they simply just plug in and away it goes. It automatically knows that a lighting arm is plugged in, turns on and lets you get creative. And to get them out, you just pull them out. You don't twist. Okay, there was actually a warning telling you not to twist them. The heads can be rotated to change the angle of light between the wide beam of 115 degrees down to 20 degrees. And it's fully flexible. It means you can get that light into little tight places. So what I like best about the adapter locks is its modular design. So if you only want to use one arm, you just plug in the one arm. But if you need more, you plug them in as you go along and you just carry on until you get the desired lighting that you want, which I think that is fantastic. As macro photographers, anything that's modular that can save us room in our bag is always good because we don't want to take everything with us on every single shoot and quite often I don't do that. So with this Adaptlux Studio, you can have five lighting arms, all different types that you want. You can have a look on the website for the different ones. So the Adaptlux can be used independently or you can mount it to your camera. So in the box comes a little mounting bracket that you can screw onto the Adaptlux. And then that will in turn connect to your camera like that. Okay. Now I'm going to be doing a future video where we are going to be doing continuous lighting of my praying mantises and jumping spiders using this particular configuration. So keep an eye out for that. So this connection is a little bit tight, but I'm pretty sure it would wear in over time. So in the box, you also get a pair of brick and the pod can be controlled wirelessly via an app for iOS or Android. You can also control the lighting using the three buttons on the pod. If I plug in a light now, okay, so I'll put it off to the side. I can press the top button here and you can see it start to blink and I can decrease the amount. You see that's completely off now and then I can increase the amount doing that. So if you've got multiple arms on, when you press in the middle button, it will switch between them. So now we're onto the red one, you can see there. Press it again, I'm onto the blue one. So the fact that you don't have to use the app is also a nice bonus. Another thing I like is boost mode. So I can press and hold the plus button on the Adaptlux Studio to give it five times more brightness. And that it really is bright. You don't really want to be looking at that. But it does come in handy if you need an extra bit of shutter speed or a higher f-stop, you can boost the power output from this pod. So the white arm has a color temperature of 5,700 Kelvin and 200 lumens on the brightness. And the Adaptalux also has on offer as an added bonus, extra colors on the arms, including a UV arm. Now I'm really hoping I can get hold of a UV arm for this Adaptalux pod, because that is what initially caught my interest in this Adaptalux studio was the UV arms. I want to get five UV arms onto this Adaptalux studio and see just what this thing is capable of doing. To convert a standard flash, it costs about $500. So to get three of those, it's going to cost one and a half thousand pound. But this, 
for £500, you can get five UV arms. But whether they're powerful enough, that's something I'm going to have to test when I get my hands on them. The Adaptlux Studio also comes with diffusers. So these are magnetic, so they clip on just like that. However, on my one arm, the magnet fell off. Maybe that's just an issue with the particular pack I've got, I don't know. So that's something you might want to keep an eye on, is your magnets on the end of these arms. You can also get these diffusers in different colours, which is very useful. If you want to change the colour, you've already set up the arm and you don't want to move the arm, you can just slap on a diffuser. There are three levels of diffusion available, 30%, 50% and 70% giving you control you need over your diffused light. The Adapt Look comes with an optional stabiliser that balances the Adapt Look Studio lighting when it is not directly mounted to a camera or tripod. I haven't got that so I haven't been able to test that. When you're on a tripod you need to have a wide base on this because the mounting point is at the back of the adapter looks. Okay, so when you have all your arms on here, sometimes it can get a little top heavy. So I'll just do a demonstration. Oh, there goes the magnet again. I'll do a demonstration. Can you see there? So what you've got to bear in mind is you need to have a low tripod like one of the gorilla pods. Now I've used it on my gorilla pod, no problems, but as soon as I put it on something like this Manfrotto one, it does tip over. So you do have to get a tripod that is suitable for this Adaptlux Studio. So the stabilizer would solve that issue. And you can also buy all this stuff separately on their website. The stuff that you can get for the Adaptlux system is very vast. And that also includes the flash arms. And what they have is an arm that's similar to this and it has a, a flash on the end of it. Check in the description below for the Kickstarter to that particular one. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I might get my hands on some of those flash kits. It'd be interesting to test those out because that would make this system, particularly being modular, quite a complete system for any macro photographer. I have noticed a little bit of banding when doing video work with the adapt look system, but that's nothing that can't be fixed by synchronizing either your frame rate or your shutter speed. So that's most of the technical stuff out of the way. Now I've kept it a little bit brief. If you want to get more details, then do check out the Adaptlux website. It is in the description below. But what I want to talk about now is my experience with the Adaptlux. Now I've used it on a couple of shoots and it's done exactly the job it is supposed to do. I love the fact that I can control the lighting power from my phone. I can change the arms over to different colored arms. However, Sometimes it is quite difficult to get the arms into place because they do have a little bit of bounce in them. You can see there it's a little bit bouncy. So I'm moving it but it moves back a little bit. That's something you've got to consider when you're setting up your lights because although it's only moving a few millimeters back from where you put it, a few millimeters in macro photography is like a mile in real life. So that was getting a little bit annoying but that's down to experience. So the more I use it, the more experience I have of setting it up, the less uh, annoying that gets. But when you first start using it, that can get annoying. The most annoying part about the Adapt Lux is the app. I had the app crash on several occasions where I was unable to restart the app and reconnect to the Adapt Lux Studio. I had to keep resetting the Adapt Lux Studio. However, the guys at Adapt Lux are aware of that particular bug and they are going to be fixing it. So hopefully in a future update, that will be no issue. So like I said, apart from my magnet falling out of the one arm, the Adaptlux Studio has been very, very good at doing what it is designed to do, and that is to light your macro subjects. So the one down point is the price. This does set you back quite a bit, but it's not a price that you wouldn't be willing to pay if you are a professional or an enthusiast. If you're just getting started in macro photography, then obviously you might need to look somewhere else to begin with. But once you start getting to that point where you can use something like this, I would highly recommend you check out the Adaptlux Studio. So some additions or feedback I'd like to give to the lads at Adaptlux is uh, the arms would be great if you could have extra long arms because sometimes I was finding that I wanted a one particular light to go over my subject and light up the background and these just aren't long enough to do that. So if you could come up with an idea or a way of having these arms or an extension to the arm so you could have an extension that clips on like that so that we can get one that goes all the way over and down to the background that would be great 
Also, if they could update the app so that the app automatically recognizes what color LED is plugged in and adjusts the color of these icons accordingly, that would be a welcome update. So also, if you could waterproof the ends of the arm so you could dip it into water and photograph underwater stuff like in a fish tank, that might be interesting as well. I've got an idea for that and I've hinted on that on one of my previous videos, but with my daughter getting injured, kind of put things off. But we will be exploring that and hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't break them. The only problems I've had with this so far is the app crashing out, which again they're aware of, and the magnet falling out the end of the Adaptlux arm. Now I haven't contacted the lads yet because I want to put out an honest review about this. It's not something I could see as being a major issue because I can just glue it straight back in. So overall, I'm very impressed with this Adaptlux. Now I first saw this at um, the Kickstarter when they started the Kickstarter campaign. I wasn't doing YouTube back then, so I didn't back it. However, when I met up with the lads at the photography show, we had a good chat and this is definitely something I wanted to check out. Because sometimes I don't want to use flash photography on my insects because it does spook them. So having the adapter looks to do insect photography is a great option. And that's something I'm going to cover in one of my future videos is we're going to put this onto my ATD and we are going to use the adapter look system to solely light my jumping spiders and praying mantis on a shoot. So look out for that. So that's the Adaptalux Studio complete lighting solution for your macro photography. So check out the Adaptalux link in the description below and that's where I'm going to leave this one. Again, check out the Kickstarter for the flash heads. So far, I'm impressed. I'm going to continue using it until Ben sends me an email saying he wants it back. He might have forgotten about it, but hey, you never know. But that's it for this video. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. My name's Stuart Wood and as always, I'll see you on the next video. In this video, I'm going to review the Adaptalux Studio, the adaptable... <laughs> Hello, my name's Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be... <sighs> I just dropped my phone again for the umpteenth time. There's someone out there who's actually counting the, uh, the outtakes on these videos as to when I drop something. But I'm not lying us. I've just shined it right in my eyes. The adapter looks light and studio boasts an incredible twin. 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 What's twin? But these are magnetic. So they just clip straight on. No messing around. Just clip it on. At least it's supposed to be. Also, waterproof. I mean, if you could waterproof the, the end of the arm, 